The big story at 5:30: a driver dies in a wreck during a racing event at Daytona International Speedway. Officials say another driver also ended up in the hospital. Let's get out to Fox 35. Stephanie Buffamonte. She is live at the track tonight. And Stephanie, we're still trying to figure out what happened during that event. And Daytona International Speedway has not yet shared what caused this crash, but we are learning more a little bit about the event itself. We're learning that this happened during a practice session here during a race weekend at the Speedway and that the Audi Club of North America was the ones who were renting out the Speedway for this event where one person died and another person was hurt. So I did reach out to that organization. They shared a statement with me, which you can see coming up on your screen. They did a spokesperson with Audi Club got back to me saying that they were saddened to learn that the man had lost his life. They said the driver wasn't part of their club, writing in part, quote, the incident took place during an international GT practice session, which was not managed by Audi Club. Audi Club remains a driver education focused organization, and our policies do not permit the organization of open or closed course events in which members engage in racing or competitive wheel-to-wheel -wheel activities. So I reached out to international GT and they said to me in part quote a second driver involved in the incident was also transported to a local hospital our deepest sympathies go to the family of the driver who had passed we would like to give our well wishes to the second driver during their recovery. Now, as I said, Daytona International Speedway was being rented out by Audi Club North America this weekend. So the event was not a NASCAR event. The people who were on the track were not professional NASCAR drivers. They were amateur drivers. I did speak with another motorsports club who was at the event this weekend. They told me they can't speak for the training and protocols of other clubs. But as far as their club, you do need to go through training training and safety courses before you can race with them. Now we are expecting a police report to be released soon, which we will expect more information to be shared in that. Reporting live in Daytona Beach, Stephanie Buffmonte, Fox 35 News.